Welcome back to the Crypto Report, everybody. I'm Crypto Kip, and today we're going to be talking about how you could be earning 11% APY on your Crypto.com Kronos coins right now. I, uh, I've i even earned 12% previously, and I've earned a lot through the Crypto.com app, but right now you have a great opportunity to earn some easy money if you're holding Kronos coins or if you're thinking about holding Kronos coins by utilizing the DeFi app for Crypto.com. So we're going to talk about that and some recent stories coming out about the FDIC and Crypto.com, maybe FTX for sure. We'll dive into that here in the video. If you haven't done so already, smash up the like button, subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell. I'm doing three videos every single day. We talk about crypto and Crypto.com quite frequently. We like exchange tokens, but we like crypto, Bitcoin and F especially. Also, if you want some free money, take advantage of the link in the description down below. When you sign up for FEMUX, you can get $4,100 for a free trade. So check it out, guys. Let's hop into the charts. Let me show you what the markets are doing right now. Just above $1 trillion market cap for crypto. So crypto is coming down just a touch. Uh, Ethereum dominance coming down a bit, but it is still number two trending. Shiba Inu number one trending token today. Shout out to all you Shiba Inu hodlers out there. Bitcoin just below 22,000 and Ethereum just above 1,600. So, uh, you know, we've seen stronger days, but we're hanging in tight. And you're looking at Kronos coin at 12 and a half cents just about right now currently. So what's going on in the markets? Well, let's just take a peek here. FTX also right around $27. So what's going on in the markets? Well, just yesterday, uh, this article came out. FTX grew a revenue of 1,000% during the crypto craze leaked financial show. So I'm sure you've seen that FTX bought the Miami Heat Arena naming rights and many, many ads across the Super Bowl and on MLB umpire jerseys and a lot, a lot more. They're everywhere. And the way they can do something like that is with all the cash that they made during this moment. They are loaded. They made so much money during the bull run that they're sitting so beautifully right now, ready to acquire crypto companies. Like you see them offer money for Celsius and BlockFi and buying out all these different projects and putting out proposals. They own 17% of Robinhood right now. So really fantastic work that FTX is doing, but bad news, crypto firm FTX got a warning from the FDIC to stop misleading consumers, according to CNBC about deposit protection. So basically the story is, is that Sam Bankman Freed is coming out and defending them because he's saying, you know, we work with FDIC insured banks. And that's a statement and he's apologizing if that's misleading. Didn't mean to me but be misleading. So a lot of folks, my uncle is a very traditional trader and he saw this news and he's like, oh, you know, hey, FDIC coming in, these crypto exchanges, you know, Okay, so it's, you know, it's new players to the game, but this ain't the first time something like this has happened with a firm in the past, whether it's crypto or, you know, a new trading firm or whatever it might be, right? So look, slap on the wrist, move on. They want to do better by the people and they want to comply with the FDIC. And you even see that uh, right here, Brett Harrison with FTX said, per the FDIC's instruction, I deleted the tweet. They were tweeting about uh, a response and questions raised to Twitter regarding whether US deep deposits from employers were held at insured banks. So this was the tweet. Um, we didn't really mis mean to mislead anyone and we didn't suggest that FTX itself or that crypto non-fiat assets benefit from FDIC insurance. I hope this provides clarity on our intentions. Happy to work directly with the FDIC on these important to topics. This is the perfect response for them right now. This is exactly the way that they should be responding to this. Um, but it's important to note too, that there are five other companies that have been um, sent out these articles uh, by the FDIC. They've been sent cease and desist orders actually uh, to five different companies. FTX US, a section of FTX by the way, not global, FTX US, there's a difference, um, you know, is one of these five companies. Well, is crypto.com one of the other companies? Well. The five companies are FTX US, CryptoNews.com, CryptoSEC.info, SmartAsset.com, and FDIC.com. 
uh, FDICcrypto.com. So this is interesting. At a first glance, you see FDIC orders five firms to cease and desist. Five firms. This isn't necessarily crypto exchanges because you see crypto.com. Oh no, crypto.com is on the list. Well, let's just peek, peek at that real quick. Copy, paste. What is FDICcrypto.com? It is Chase. It is CHS Service Presider. It is this fellow and he's got something going on. He's a service presider. This isn't crypto.com, right? Go to his LinkedIn. It, you know, got an operation going, but uh, it's just not crypto.com. So, you know, this is the thing when I say FUD, fear, uncertainty, doubt, fake news. You know, this is a, it's a big story, right? I mean, the FDIC is saying, hey guys, you know, stop what you're doing, let's behave. And I get that. But, uh, you know, a lot of people kind of go into a panic, like, you know, my uncle, this was very bearish for him. And, you know, they kind of, he kind of went off this and said, well, see what I mean with these exchanges. Look, slap on the wrist and now they're compliant. The fact is, is they grew a thousand percent during the last crypto craze. So they're going to start complying more proper to whatever the FDIC's ex expectations are. And meanwhile, they're going to continue to buy other firms just like Crypto.com, FTX is going to do the same thing. They're competing. That's what they're doing right now. It's a bear market. That's why recently Crypto.com had a layoff where, you know, they were trying to get some more cash for themselves. Speaking of cash, I told you guys that I'm going to talk about how you can earn 11% on Crypto.com. And it's important you guys know that, like, first of all, these exchange tokens are okay. They're safe, right? FDIC news, don't spook out. Feel good knowing that, you know, they're trying to be compliant with these exchanges. But these exchanges, specifically Crypto.com, has something more going for itself than just being an exchange. This is also a DeFi project, right? You can go to the Crypto.com DeFi app and you can utilize different DeFi projects like MF Finance, VVS Finance, Tectonic, you name it, right? There's a lot of opportunities for you guys to be utilizing some DeFi. One of the most basic that I'm going to talk about right now is let's just say you have some CRO. Well, I, this isn't my actual wallet. I do have some CRO. I'm, I'm just not sharing my balances with you guys right now. Um, and you want to earn some interest on it. Well, you could keep it in the Crypto.com app on the main application on your iPhone. And you could earn, you know, I think you earn like 2% right now or maybe even less than that. I, maybe 6% at most. It's not as much as what you can get here. So found this out a while ago through this entire bear market. I've locked up every single one of my crypto.com tokens into this staking platform within the crypto.com DeFi wallet. This is the DeFi desktop wallet. They also have an app on the iPhone, which I like it a lot. Um, it's really fantastic. Very simple to use. You can load it right here. You know, a little bit of a passcode and you're in. I'm going to hide my balances. I'll show you guys the app real quick. So, you know, look, I mean, this is the app. You can see in here, you can go to the browser. These are all the different dApps that you can do. So you can get on a Faro protocol, VVS Finance, MF Finance. It's fantastic. But the most basic form of it, if you want to stake, let's say you have $100 sitting in here. You want to stake it, how do you do it? Delegate funds and then the validator address. We'll get into what that is in a second. You pick how many. Well, I want to put $100 into... Um, you know, or 100 CRO into this staking pool. So you click 100, right? Or maybe you pick all you have available. Maybe you want to do more. And then you got to pick the pool that you want to do. So where do you want it to go? What staking pool? Well, what do I mean? There's a lot of different staking pools. Look at all this. You know, one, two, three. Uh, might be hard for you guys to see this, but you know, there's you can see all these shifting numbers, right? So there's so many different pools that you can pick from. Well, where do you go? Well, if you look up here, you can see the APY, you can see the commission or the fees that it costs when you're on there, uh, cumulative shares, the voting power, so the size of each pool, and you can see the uptime. And so these are things that you want to consider. One very popular pool that's done really well by me is Jerry's pool. So actually, Jerry's pool is the one that I like to rock with. This is a little bit of information on the Crypto.org Explorer about Jerry's pool where you can see, uh, you know, kind of all the pieces that, that go into it. Here's a security contact for you. You can reach out to Jerry, him or herself. So just your friendly neighborhood, Jerry. But uh, this is a fantastic place for, for me to have put my money over the last uh, while. I've really, really enjoyed utilizing Jerry's pool because 
I'm still earning 11% APY. Well, what does that mean? You're earning 11% on whatever you put in at the end of the year. So basically, if you put in $100, you will earn $11. At the end of that year, you'll have $111. But here's the fun part. You will actually have more. Why? Because you can collect those rewards anytime that you want. There is a small fee every time you collect your rewards. And when you do collect your rewards, you'll have two options. Option A, you'll either be able to stake to your, uh, uh, you'll be able to collect stake to the wallet and you'll be able to basically collect your reward and claim it and put it in your wallet and then you can go buy other coins with it or trade it around or spend it or you can claim rewards to restake and it'll just go back into the same deposit that you have there and you'll put more money in Jerry's pool and that means basically you can start doing daily compounding. You have the opportunity for compound interest and you can do it daily, weekly, monthly, hourly, really whatever you want. Obviously, the more money you have, the more money there is to claim. Uh, you know, the, if you have $100,000, you earn $11,000 uh, in an a, you know, on an APY annual percentage yield basis if you're putting that into uh, this DeFi project right now. So guys, this is super awesome. I wanted to show you guys this. It's really easy. Once you set your amount, you know, 100, pick your pool, Jerry's pool, fantastic. And then basically from there, and you, sorry, you select it right here. Basically from there, all you gotta do is you go, boom, review, and then you submit the order, and then there's a small fee, and now you can collect your rewards. Guys, if you like crypto.com, and FDIC news doesn't scare you like it shouldn't, and I hope I explained that for you in this video, then you should be doing something with your crypto.com tokens, and I urge you to consider putting your crypto.com tokens in here, staking them, maybe it's Jerry's pool, maybe it's another pool that you like for whatever reason. Let me know what you guys think about that in the chat box down below. Let me know what your thoughts are on FTX right now, on these exchange tokens overall, and do you guys think that crypto and crypto exchanges are in trouble, or do you think that they are the future of crypto? How about crypto.com? That's all I got in today's video. I am Crypto Kip. This is the Crypto Report. Don't forget to smash up the like button and subscribe to the channel. And as always, guys, you gotta remember to DCA, HODL, and we will see you in the next one. I got two videos for you guys right here. If you wanna check out more of the content, check this out, maybe check that one out. Have a great night.